All right, guys, uh, here, here we sit, uh, almost four years um, removed from uh, August uh, 26th of 2018. Uh, here, August 26th of 2022. It, it'll, be, uh, it'll be four years since uh, Patricia uh, went to heaven, uh, was uh, tragically taken away in a, in a car accident. Especially my loss being very sudden and no, no real plan. Right. Um, we planned on growing old together and, and living this incredible life of fulfillment and and grandparents and right. grandbabies and buying a lake house and traveling the world. I mean, that, those are things that we all talked about. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, you know, in one day, um, one minute, uh, it, it's all it's gone. Even with Patricia passing, are there moments where you just you just miss her so much that you're just overwhelmed <laughs> with emotion. Those days come. Right, right now. Yeah. I think just, uh, you know, the sheer thought of it, yeah. uh, reality mm -hmm. of it, um, <laughs> understanding it's God's plan. I learned about uh, helping other people through my story. Uh, and what's happened in my life. Uh, we all have stories. Some of them are, are, are tragedy. Some of them are illness, uh, death. I mean, you, you name it. Um, what In His Grip taught me uh, through this time was how I wasn't alone, uh, how I had great people like Scott and Joey and Steve and just the, the great people uh, of In His Grip. We're just, we're just a big brotherhood and one person is here just to help out another person. And our, our vision and our goal is, you know, guys, we're just not on an island. I, I was on an island for a lot of years, probably 48 of them, uh, before I figured out how to get myself off of the island and, and into a community of like-minded people, of believers. Yeah, one of the absolute most pivotal moments in my life was uh, January 14th of uh, 2018, um, when I got a letter from my, my beautiful 15 year old daughter, Riley. Um, and <laughs> Patricia's traveling and on my pillow is a letter from Riley in an envelope with dad on it. Uh, I was pretty excited, I got a letter from my daughter. So I open it up and letter starts off really great uh, about me being her father. And then second paragraph uh, gets a little rough and Riley at 15 uh, is able to uh, call me out on not being uh, present, uh, not being a, the dad that she thought she was gonna have, and me not being the husband to her mom. Um, I don't know if anybody has ever gotten a letter like that from their daughter, but at that time in my life, she was right. And it took me straight to my knees in, in my bedroom, uh, weeping and crying uncontrollably. Uh, and I knew I had to do something about it. I had to get, I had to get help. Um, I had to get, I had to get, <clears throat> I had to get right with a, a lot of things. But mostly, I, I needed, I needed a presence, which was God, in, in my life to help me. And that's who I cried out to at that moment. Um, and then I take that letter and I walk up those stairs to my daughter's room. And I could have done a lot of things, guys. I could have torn that letter up. I could have been mad. I could have been. Uh, pretend like I didn't read it, but uh, when I opened the doors, she was just uh, in her bedroom, in her bed with her arms wide open. And um, boy, I snuggled in and we prayed and we talked and I told her I was gonna change. And I did. I changed that next day. And for four years, a little over four years, I've, I've been that same guy uh, that I promised her that I was gonna be. How do you wanna make the most impact in that mm. back nine of life. So yeah. definitely looking forward to the back nine. And uh, you know, we're taking on a different look at life. Uh, and, and to tell you the truth, there's just so much joy and happiness knowing that I'm gonna have an opportunity to impact um, many people, maybe just not around here, but maybe in the state or in the country or in the world mm -hmm. based on what my plans are and, and what I have in store for in his grip and the next hopefully 50 years. Love it.